Hi guys, Todd here. Vlog time. Right, before we get going, um, for a lot of you won't know this, but um, over the years, I, I used to work in a vape shop. I used to work in a shop called The Vapor Lounge in Dunfermline. I started off there, I think I worked in the shop for about two and a half years, and then at the tail end, I was the area manager for the, the, the shops. But anyway, oh God, it couldn't have been long after we opened and um, <laughs> this guy came in, beard, uh, nose piercing, covered in tattoos and sat down in the stool at the end of the, there was a bar in the shop if you like, the counter, and started blethering. And this was Chaz. Um, Chaz Bose was <laughs> such a character. He was just life. Um, and he used to come in nearly every day and blether away. And then he ended up working in the shop and he was just a righteous dude. Um, sadly, uh, Chaz passed away uh, last week, so I'll just skip on. Um, there tomorrow night, Friday night, for anybody that knew Chaz uh, at the Vapor Lounge in Dunfermline at six o'clock. There's going to be a get together, and uh, where we shall talk about him, um, what he listened to, what he drank, and what he ate. And it was all good stuff. Um, he was just... Uh, he, he didn't burn the candle at both ends. He just had... The candle was a blaze constantly. Uh, you could not have met a nicer guy. And um, he'll be sadly missed. I have spoken about the Hall of Vape at great length in the past. And I said at the end of last year, I said that out of all the events I went to, my personal favourite, while I went to a lot of good events, the Hall of Vape was my favourite. Um, not just because it was well laid out, it was organised very well, um, and there was great vendors, there was what, a mix of hardware and juice, it was a good balance, but because the Modders Gallery uh, really appealed to me personally. This year, we are moving to a, a new venue, it, it's still Stuttgart, um, but, and I'll put a link in the description so you can go to the website and check it out. Uh, but they are expecting over 20,000 visitors and 300 vendors. It's going to be a belter. So the Saturday, it's going to be 12 o'clock until seven o'clock at night. And on the Sunday, it's gonna be 12 o'clock till five o'clock. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm just, the thought of 50, I know there's other companies and there's all those vendors there, juice and hardware and so on. But the thought of 50 mod makers in the one place is just mind boggling. Uh, they're going to have lots of people there, celebrities and things like that. And, um, and some fanny from a shed will be there as well. What I'll do is, um, I'll do it. I've got five tickets, five tickets for the full event. So what to do is email me. My email address is in the description for the video. The title has to be Stuttgart. And the question is, you have to send me the full address of where this event is being held. Uh, now, the, there's only five tickets, so yeah, make sure you title it Stuttgart. If you don't hear anything back, then that means that the tickets are gone. I've only got five to give away. So that's that. Right, let's do vlog stuff. Now, vlog stuff, what have we got? Just let's work our way around. Um, so first things first. This arrived, Lancashire Steam Company, Vanilla Custard. I don't do juice reviews, I really don't. And they don't, the only people I do, I get juiced, I get my nata, I get my Portuguese custard tart, I get um, my lemon crack. Um, both of them you can get from Just Add Nick in the UK. Uh, I also get my goose juice, which is my main all day vape. And that is pretty much it. Uh, now, every once in a while, I will get sent juice from, usually it's Billy at uh, Vaping King. And uh, sometimes I get sent juice on from Lancashire Steam Company because I've known these guys for years. And I don't mind when they send, they only send off stuff that that they know I might like. Uh, so, I'm, I, you can see I've gone through a bit of it. I've not even steeped it, uh, but this is, Bird's Vanilla Custard. 
it, it's as close to a bird's vanilla custard as I've had. It's It's got that sweetness to it. You've still got that vanilla custard, but it's, it's really, it's got really sweet. So I need to stop vaping it. I need to let it steep and, and just see how it goes. So I'll wait until it changes color a bit more. But Lancashire Steam Company in the UK are doing a vanilla custard. This week I, I go, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, right, let's show you this. Uh, Armadillo Mods in the UK. Uh, that, oh, I can't show you that, I. Oops. Um, excuse me, I'll take that off. I'll have to put something else on this now. Uh, let's put the Vena back on. Uh, right, Armadillo Mods. They sent on this, which is their, their original Alumide Squonker. Uh, and I have been using it and the print quality on it is 10 out of 10. Zero issues with it. It's very, very nice. And you've got the whole armadillo thing going on there. And yeah, it's a, it's a good squat. It's, it's, you know, it's your usual mech squonker. Oh, he has got the silvered out. Oh, it's silver contacts. It's got the silvered out kit from Modmaker in it. Anyway, so they sent that on. Now I don't do reviews. I said a long time ago that that's it. No more reviews for bog standard box squonkers, 3D printed ones. For various reasons. I gave you the reasons in previous videos. Um, they did send on another one, which just looks pretty much like this one until you turn it round and you realise that it's got a DNA 75C in it. Look, look at that. <laughs> now, it, it came it came with the the mod maker little dinky bottle in it, but the the mod maker uh, Geron Geronimo Geronimo bottle actually fits in it. So I've got a seven and a half mil capacity single eighteen six fifty. And it's a DNA 75C. I'm blown away by the size of this thing. I, I really am. It's, look at that. So, uh, these retail, I think he's selling these for 215, 215 pounds it might be. Uh, for, so from a little company in the UK rattling these out, it's a 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, really. Uh, the only, and and this, I'll feed this back. Do you know the only thing that I find strange is, or only thing that I would possibly like is I would have, I like it when there's a, a screen protector over the actual physical screen of the board. So that's the, I'm sure that's the, or has it got a protector on it? No, it's not. That is the actual screen. I wish there was a, a window over it. That's it. That's the only feedback I've got in this. Uh, I've got the Vena on top of that. Um, I've done the review for that. For me, I, I mean, people say, what do you really think? Um, what I really think is in the video. Sometimes as a reviewer, you do get emails from people saying, I watched your review. What's your honest opinion on it? And it's like, uh, uh, if, uh, it makes me angry. Um, my honest opinion is in every single video. I can't share anything else outside what's in that video. And the same thing applies for the Vena. For me, I'm keeping it. I think it's a keeper. That's how I rate it. Uh, I, I do, it just suits me to a T. And that's Vanilla Custard from LSC. Uh, right, so moving on, uh, what else can I show you? Uh, right, oh, this. This, uh, I, I'm not going to show you the front or anything because I don't know if I'm allowed to. Uh, this is a, there's a new mod coming from Modified, uh, the sister company of Lost Vape. And so I'm testing this just now. Um, I did read on the interwebs uh, um, today that the, what was the one? I've forgotten the name again. I'm going to, uh, I'm useless. The one I did the review for and I complained about the font size being too small. I saw a post on their Facebook page today saying that they're going to release an update and increase the font size, which is great. The Sirius. No, it was the one after that. 
somebody will remind me. I know they will. Another thing I've got here, this is the wormhole. This is from Vape. Vape. Vape Fly. Not Vape Life. I keep calling it Vape Life. Vape Fly. I can't tell you much about this. I've put one build in it. It's a squonking RDA or you can use it as a dripper. It's very configurable um, and maybe too config configurable bill. You know what I mean. A review for that will be after I come back from Germany. Uh, I, I fly out to Germany on the Wednesday night. I'm not back until the Sunday night so there's going to be nothing from me probably for a week. Way hey, you say to yourself. I'll get the review for the the Odis Ogeni V2 when I come back. I think I've said to you already. Uh, I really don't have any much in the way of issues with this now because I've got the wicking sorted with the stainless steel mesh. I am actually enjoying this a lot more than I was originally, uh, mainly because I just couldn't get it to wick that well. Uh, I think I said to you last week that for me that the airflow on it, it's got a restricted. Yeah, it's just restricted direct lung. It didn't wick well enough to keep up with the airflow. But with the stainless steel slugs in there, uh, then and it's working great. Still plugging away with the legend from uh, Geek Vape, Vape Geek, Geek, Geek Vape. Um, and it works. It's working fine. Um, will I drop it in a bucket of water? Will I drive it, my car over it or leave it in the freezer? Uh, no, probably not. Actually, I might do that. That would be good fun. We'll wait and see. Uh, moving round. Um, oh, Bosch. Anybody here watch Bosch? The new season started up. It's on Amazon Prime. I'm a few episodes into the new season. Thoroughly enjoying it. It's it's um, it's a great series. If you haven't seen it, it go and watch it. It's it's quite dark. It's not the cheeriest of uh, dramas, if you like, uh, but uh, it is good. I do like it. Now I've recorded a review for this, the Lost Vape Furion. I have got it recorded. Review won't be out until I get confirmation or from Lost Vape on when they're actually shipping them, because uh, there's no point in putting out a review just now if the when you can buy them is so far away. Uh, the one thing that I will say is that it looks like. Um, I thought that we were going to have this and this. This is what was going to be released, but it's not. Uh, the stainless steel top cap and bottom is not coming right away. It's going to be brass top cap and bottom cap for both of them. So that's at launch. Uh, but there's a review recorded for it, and I, I pretty much give it a two thumbs up. I did get a little present from uh, the, the wonderful people at ePhoenix. Uh, so they sent me a clear bottle, squishing away, no doors coming flying off because uh, they, have, they have actually come up with this carrier system. You see you've got a cage, it's like a, a, a hard plastic, a hard delrin. Uh, so your squonk bottle sits inside that so when you squonk it's not pushing the door out basically. But I think the newest version of the, you know, the Fury Squonker, I'm pretty sure that it actually comes with them now, which is great. I, I, I know I moaned about this in the review, uh, but uh, it's good that they have addressed the issue. I will also say that I see they are coming out, I'm pretty sure they're coming out with an RDTA, mm. uh, but they are also coming out with a 16mm dripper as well. I think it's going to be a Resurrection 16mm, which, uh, yeah, curious about that one. I really am. Um, so, that's it from ePhoenix. I do have a, a little prototype RDA here that I'm playing with. This is uh, going to be another Lost Vape product, but um, Rob from Steam Island, uh, down in the Isle of Wight in the UK, he's got a shop, steamisland.com, uh, or is it .co.uk? one or the other. So he's designed an RDA. Now, I will say that it's very similar. The deck is the same style as most of the other RDAs that are out, but it's very similar to a Flav. Uh, aside from the airflow, the airflow is coming from a different position altogether and it, the top cap is going to be completely different. So these, this is going to be one of these ones where you can squonk like crazy. 
uh, basically the air's coming from up high, down, and then underneath the coil. So it's under the coil. I don't have, <coughs> excuse me, I don't have the final top cap, but first impressions are quite good, uh, quite good. But I can't give a final opinion on it until I have the proper top cap. Uh, other things that I have in my review queue, um, th there's, that's it, I've shown you everything that's in my review queue basically. Uh, I have a couple of other mods coming very very soon and hopefully I'll pick up some nice gear when I'm over at the Hall of Vape. Uh, I, I will say that uh, I, I will no longer be doing a review for the, the Nord uh, RDA, I've decided just to bin it. Not bin it, but just going to give it away. Uh, basically, because there's, it's a cluster f f thing. It, it, yeah, it's a it's a whole mess, and and I don't want to be involved in it. I don't want to have anything to do with it. It's just, it's just drama, and and I have no interest in it whatsoever. Uh, I don't know the guy uh, who designed it. I've never spoken to him. It's nothing against him, but I think that the company that has handled the whole affair should be shot. If if I was him, I would just be saying, don't put my name on it, do what the hell you like with it and distance myself from that company because they are shit. <laughs> they really are. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave that one at that. One thing I will show you, uh, and, and I never showed you this last week, but I, I, I meant to. I, I posted this on my Instagram. Remember Stu from vapesmarter.org? He did, I did a review for him. It was a mod called The Pink. Uh, well, he, he made something for me. And um, and it's, it's awesome. Uh, I should really do some fancy camera work here, but this is easier. Look at that. Look at that. Um, and if I, <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to cripple myself. Um, just as well, the dog's in his basket. Let's get this latch undone here. Boom, there we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. How awesome is that? Um, I've got to find a place in the house for it. Uh, we just did up the living room a bit, so I didn't want this to get damaged, so it's hiding out here just now. But um, I'm so stoked with this thing. It's just, uh, Stu, if you see this, thank you very much. And if you go along to vapesmarter.org, uh, you will see that it's not just mods, bespoke mods that Stu does. He does, he, he makes all this stuff, uh, all your cabinets and things like that. And there's no foreign wood, uh, you know, and it's all, the finish on it, it's not varnished, this is hand waxed. It is just amazing. And that's me, that's enough gushing for one day. I think I've done quite a bit of gushing. Uh, apologies for that. There's things that I should possibly be talking to you about uh, that I, my, honestly I can't remember. My head is just up my ass this week. Um, but there won't be a vlog next week. No, there won't be, there won't be. But what I will do, is I will try my damnedest to do some live vlogs from or from the event. Uh, so if you're, I'll, I'll do them on my Facebook page or if I can get a decent connection, I'll do them on my YouTube page. Uh, it's not going to be anything uh, award winning, uh, but I do have my fanny stick, sorry, uh, my, yep. I've got my guitar case with my fanny stick inside it. I've got my gimbal. I've shown you this already. This is this is me that slags off all the other reviewers. Slags or takes the Michael, extracts the urine from uh, from all these vloggers that you see or bloggers, whatever they're called, uh, walking about with these things. Um, but but I, I've said to you because I wanted to. I wanted to try and get a better experience, share a better experience from the event. And because, you know, that it's, they've invited me over, I, I feel like I'm duty bound. So I got myself this, uh, I got myself a Google Pixel X2, which is supposed to have the best camera or had the best camera video on it. So I'm kind of hoping that 
you know, I'll be able to do something decent for a change and I'll try and bring you the best I possibly can. If anybody knows how this works, just give me a shout. I just have not a clue. Right, I'm going to go. Uh, thank you for sparing the time you did to listen to a knob in a shed prattle some crap. But uh, I'll have reviews for you before I head off next week. But as always, thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now. To the side of me, you will find two other videos that I think you may be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments to the video below. Cheers.